Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming back at you from beautiful, sunny, noisy Miami, Florida, my hometown. I'm here at Bombay Dabar. I'm back for the fourth installment of my Indian dish series, and today we're gonna make fish go in. So this is a fish dish from the state of Goa. If you guys don't know about Goa, it's in the south, it's on the coast. It was part of the Portuguese and they have a very, very different type of cuisine there. And this dish in specific is made with three different common fish or it can be made with three different fish, right? Mackerel, snapper and cod. So let's go into the kitchen. Let's see how they make it here at Bombay Dabar. Follow me. The goal of this series is to educate you guys about Indian cuisine and show you the process of what goes into making these dishes while also supporting local businesses during these tough times. A recent survey found that 95% of businesses have been impacted by the pandemic and 39% said they would be unlikely to survive without further government assistance unless sales go back to normal. President Biden has pushed the American Rescue Plan to help revitalize small businesses and supplement their lost income. But there are things you and I can do to help too, like being mindful of where you shop and supporting small businesses and local restaurants like Bombay Dabar. And we are back in the kitchen. My man, how you doing? Everything good, chef? Good, 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 good. Good to see you again. We use tilapia fish, no, the suave fish. Okay, suave fish. Yeah, cook with onion, chopped tomato, cilantro. All right. And then some brown stuff. That's it, brown. And if you put, you always put some cashew. cashew. Then you put some salt. You already take the fish and drop the fish, fry the fish. When the sauce is ready, you drop the fish. So we put cilantro, coconut milk, coconut milk tomato. Tomato. And then the brown star. Okay. Go in star. Cashew sauce and then the brown sauce. Okay, so cashew sauce and then a it's the bong sauce. It's similar. Bong sauce, so similar. Okay, and then the fish is fried right here, right? Yeah. So okay, so we have the fish ready here. It was just fried. We're gonna throw it in once the base is cooked. So yeah. once that's cooked, we're gonna just throw it in there. You mix it a little bit, and it's done, right? Yeah. Your favorite? Yeah. It's your favorite. And then a little bit, six, seven minutes. Can you mix a little bit? So it's six to seven minutes and that's it. I love how much cilantro is made, is put into every dish. Yeah. Cilantro is the king. That, cardamom, what else? <laughs> Cloves. I mean, we have so many things that are used in every dish. It's, it's amazing. And right here we have the chicken vindaloo. Mm. So basically the same thing we had before. We had the lamb last time. This time it's chicken. Okay, we're not having that today. We're having fish. Done. Throw anything on top. And that's it. Very easy yeah. process. Very easy. He added like five different things. He added the fish, then he adds cilantro, and then obviously cream on top. And we're done. All right, I'll see you next time for another one. All right, guys, we are ready to go home and eat the going fish. It looks incredible. My favorite part of this whole process was this right here coconut milk oh all right guys we are back and we're gonna have goa fish curry or goan fish curry this is an extremely delicious milky well coconut milk dish from the state of goa again guys if you don't know where goa is it's right here in the south so this is the state right here goa i need to go there everybody's been telling me to go for at least four full days and do the seafood aspect you know all of the different vindaloos the goa fish curry the shrimp etc all right, I'm excited. No more talking, we need to eat. I'm starving fish curry. Oh, it's like popping. Oh, massive fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right here. Beautiful fish. Let's just pick that guy up. Mm-hmm, right here. And then I'm gonna get some of this beautiful coconut gravy on top. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that curry. You guys have no idea. I'm personally a naan guy. I don't want to mix rice with this. This has to be eaten with the naan. So you just go in here, break it up. Oh my gosh. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my God, literally like butter. Mmm, it, it like falls apart. Oh my God, you have no idea the curry. So it actually reminds me of like one of these fish curries from Kerala where you have that coconut aspect, right? The coconut makes every seafood dish extra better. Mmm, look at this guys, beautiful fish. Mm-hmm. Look at all the gravy. Mmm. And if you want to limit the bread, just go in here and pull out a piece of fish. This is how I do it, right? Mmm. Wow. I'm not a huge tilapia fan, but this one, the next level tilapia. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's not the same as butter chicken or chicken tikka masala, and the coconut is what takes it to another level, right? I mean, that whole thing about the South, it's just so unreal how the dishes there are made up with non-stop coconut. I'm gonna finish all the fish. Mm-hmm. Mm. After that, just gotta soak up the naan and all this gravy, right? This is the way you do it, guys. Just like that. Wow. When you go to my dog bar, you want fish? Get this one. It's like ridiculous. Oh my gosh, bro. It's too good. It's too good. There's still gravy left. I'm gonna describe it with this. We miss Miami. We have lawnmowers, we have planes, we have things happening. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. It's gonna be more awesome travel content. See you in the next Indian food dish. What's next? I have no idea. You'll find out next time.